Okay, so we are going to learn how to do the flow along surface command. So let's draw a surface first. Now I'm going to extrude this. Put it in the shaded mode. Now let me draw geometry. Let me draw a tube. So I draw a tube and I want to flow a series of these tubes on this surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to array this. I'm going to array this into five, uh, maybe eight rows here and then five rows here. Now, the best way to array is to click on this geometry, go to Analyze, and I like to do the bounding box command. And you'll see why, and then I'm just gonna hit Enter. Because when I do my array, it'll allow me to click on the points better. So I'm gonna type Array. I'm gonna select this object, oops, let me go. I'm gonna hit Array. I'm going to select this object in the x direction I said 8, y direction 5. So the best way to array this is I have to get it from the from one angle to the next. So because I have the bounding box, it allows me to snap easier. So I'm going to click on that. You can see it's arrayed. And I'm going to click Enter. Now, the next thing, when I want to flow this surface, I need to basically have a surface behind here. So, the best way to do that is to do the bounding box of this corner. So, I'm going to go to Analyze, and then I'm going to do Bounding Box, hit Enter. And, what you, and then I'm going to make a surface, click from here to here, and voila. So let me just get rid of this and this. So now I'm going to rotate this. So I'm going to do the flow along surface. So I'm going to type flow along surface. I'm going to select these geometries, deselect the surface, I'm going to hit enter. It's asking me for the base surface. So I'm going to click on this point right here, and then it's asking me for the target surface. So I'm going to click on this point here, and what you will see is that the geometries got flowed into this surface. Now. This is looking a little bit weird because it's not going according to how I laid it out. So the way to solve this is that the direction of this surface must match this direction. So let me undo this. So I'm going to type DIR. I'm going to click on this. Okay, so you can see based on this, the, the white arrow is pointing up. Green is pointing this way and red is pointing that way. So essentially this surface has to match the directions of here. So let me check, let me press DIR for this. Okay, so, so hold on, let me, okay, so here the the green is supposed to go, let me, so I'm going to flip, nope, I don't want to flip, I want to, nope, okay, okay, so, so as you can see, this, direction is matching 
what I, the other surface. So if I go to DIR, you can see that the green is up, red is going this way, and the white is going up. When I go here, it is in similar position. So I'm going to do the command again. Flow along surface, deselect that, hit enter. This is the base surface, and this is the target. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. I just flipped it. And there you can see that the surface got flowed onto this. Now, flow along surface is not gonna be, give you the symmetri symmetry that you want because it's still a freeform command, but you can still do interesting things. You'll have to play around with the dir command to, to get the right orientations. Uh, but once you can figure that out, if you can figure out how to array a geometry and, and just practice doing the flow along surface, you can create interesting geometries. This can be uh, maybe an overhang if you're thinking of a design. Uh, but the possibilities are endless.